four more comics ready to be sent out to get graded. If you want to know what I'm sending, you'll just have to stick around. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today I have four more books that I'm about to get in their boxes and get ready to be sent out to PGX so I can get these graded. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I haven't gotten my other comics back yet. There is a little bit of a delay, of course, because if you don't know about it, you're going to know now. But I've talked about it in a video before where I actually convinced PGX to be doing something that everybody's wanted for a long time. And that is putting the graders' notes on the back of the slabs as an option. So if you want that, as of now, it's a trial basis and it's only for the We Love Comics subscribers. So you have to be a subscriber. Uh, the code on the order form to put would be um, We Love Comics Graders' Notes. And it's $5 per book. And they will put it on the back of the slab. Just keep in mind, um, it's not etched in stone right now. So the final images might be different. Who knows? But I, I thank them for giving this an opportunity to be done. I was very persistent on it. And uh, I think a lot of people are going to be pleasantly surprised about that. So those books have been a little bit delayed. So I should be getting them in the next um, probably next week or two and then of course I will do the unboxing so I will have the first slab books to ever have the greatest notes placed on them so I'm excited about that so without further ado let's show the four books that I will be sending in for next month's un unboxing now this is a book that I bought before there was an announcement for a movie I bought it a couple of years ago which is the best time to buy a book not as soon as it gets announced unless you get it really early and this is Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 13, which is the first appearance of Mysterio. Uh, they have already confirmed that this character will be in the next Spider-Man movie and hopefully beyond. This is a character I've wanted in the comics for a long time. And when I had the opportunity to grab this book, I snatched it up. Like I said, I bought it like about two or three years ago. I only paid $97 for this book. And, of course, that includes shipping and handling. So I'm going to assume because, you know, there's some rounding here. There's some stains here and some chipping. A couple of little minor um, spine ticks, but nothing major. Book is intact. The colors and the cover look pretty darn good. Uh, you could see it's like off-white at this point. But for the price I paid, it won't matter if it came back a 1.0. I will do fine. But I would say this book is going to be somewhere around the 2.5 to 3.5 range. So we'll have to wait and see when I get it. So that's number one of four. Next one I just uh, showed recently. This is my second copy of this book. Cannot wait to see what this grade will come out to be. A pressing and dry cleaning is absolutely going to help this book because it does have a little bit of a miswrap. Uh, this is Journey into Mystery number 85. A couple of things of significance in this book. It is the third appearance of Thor. It is the first appearance of Loki. Hemdal, which is the person that guards the um, Rainbow Bridge. First appearance and mention of Odin and in a cameo. And first mention and appearance of uh, Asgard. So there's a lot of key things in this book. Now, like I said, it does have a miswrap. Now, you can see the staples are on this part of the book. That has happened in years past. I, they don't see that as a defect. Uh, there are some spine ticks along the spine, heavy around the bottom. Uh, there's some chipping and pieces missing here, or it's folded over one of the two. But a pressing and a dry cleaning is going to help this book. Again, completely intact, but will benefit from that pressing and dry cleaning. Um, it looks like here... Looks like there was some kind of sticker or something, and somebody tried to peel it off, and it left a couple of stains. Um, but other than that, not bad. Um, I would say I paid three hundred and sixty-three dollars and sixty-six cents for this book. I will say it's probably going to come out to about a two point oh to a three point oh somewhere in that range. But again, if it's lower or ever or whatever, it doesn't matter to me because I collect them because I love them. So 
All right, next one. This is my third copy of this book. I bought these years ago. I was telling people to get these books. They are continually rising, and like I've said before in other videos, you ain't seen nothing yet, so get this book in any grade. I already have two of them that I bought that were both 5.0s. This one's going to be a little bit lower grade, but this is Fantastic Four issue number 48, which is the first appearance of uh, Silver Surfer and the first cameo appearance of Galactus. This, in my opinion, is a must-have book. Um, like I said, you ain't seen nothing yet. One of the things I loved about the fact that the Fantastic Four movies did so bad is everybody shied away from this book. And while they were shying away, I was buying them. And that's the smart time to be buying stuff. Now you're going to be paying a lot more, but you still haven't seen anything yet. Because as soon as there is even a mention in an end credit scene of a Marvel movie with anything to do with Fantastic Four, people are going to go ape you know what, and these books are going to fly off the shelf. That's just the little mention. Wait until Marvel finally gets to do a Fantastic Four movie and they use Silver Surfer and Galactus. Forget it. There's so many times. I mean, I don't think they're going to use them all at once, but even if they do, this book's just going to blow up. But just imagine if they did Silver Surfer in one movie and then Galactus in another. Now you have two times or three times over that this book is going to continue to rise. So please, trust me on this. Get this book. Now, it's got some color uh, fading here. There's a little bit, again, it looks like another sticker. This sticker is not on the book. It's on, actually, the the um, backing board. But there is a crease that goes here and here that breaks color. little missing part of the cover there. So it's a lower grade of the three that I have. But I only paid, I wish I paid 125 but I didn't pay much more. I paid 150 for this book. So still, at the time... Great deal for that, so even a 0 0.5 I'm going to make out at this point, and especially in the future. But um, I'm going to predict this book is going to be roughly around a 2.0 to, to the 3.0 range. I think 2.0 to 2.5 is more realistic, but I'm going to keep it a little broader because I am not a professional grader. All right, last but not least, I have another Fantastic Four book. This was one I've been wanting for a long time. Found it recently for a decent price. It is a lower grade, but I don't care. This will absolutely benefit from a pressing and a dry cleaning. This is Fantastic Four issue number three, which is the first appearance of the Fantastic Four in their costumes and their Fantastic Car. You know, I don't really think about that part too much, but the fact that they're in their iconic costumes uh, is just majorly important. Now, this one is wrinkled like crazy, and I think people didn't bid on it for that reason, because I was the only bidder, and I'm very happy about that. Now, um, it looks like at one point this part was folded under, because you could see it's a little bit of a light, lighter color. I have inspected the book, so it's not like somebody tried to glue in a piece. I really think for years it was just folded over, so this part got dirty and this part got left alone. But that's fine. There's a lot of color breaks down here. There's a piece missing in the corner here. But they're not going to count that as like a coupon or anything. Um, th it's dirty. So a dry cleaning and a pressing is absolutely going to improve this book. But, I mean, obviously with the color breaks, you can't do anything about that. But it's hard to see. But all around here is completely wrinkled with hardly any color breaks. And the same thing around here. So a pressing is definitely going to increase the grade. So I paid only $170 for this book. Again, when Disney makes the first Fantastic Four mention, these books are just going to go crazy. Now, also here, this piece is folded up a little bit, but that's not ripped off. So when they grade it and press it, that's going to be fixed. But I'm going to say this is probably the lowest of all the three that I have, all four that I have. Um, I would predict this one about a 1.8 to maybe a 2.5 and i think 2.5 is pushing it but again it depends on how good they are with the dry cleaning and the pressing but if it comes out of 1.0 i'll still be happy so those are the four books we got fantastic four issue three fantastic four issue number 48 journey into mystery 85 and amazing spider-man number 13 great books to have if you don't have them um obviously it's going to take about three to four weeks to get these back and when i do i will do an unboxing where we will learn the, the um, grades together live 
Uh, if you like these kind of videos, thumbs up always shows support. The more thumbs up I get, the more I know you enjoyed these videos. Leave your comments, and also don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. If you want one, you just got to be a subscriber and uh, shout-out that you want a shout-out. So that's it. So thanks for watching. I always appreciate your views. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And Spider-Man was way ahead of his time. He was one of the first to be on the World Wide Web. Ah. Before you find out who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out, come check out my new We Love Comics Proud to Be a Comic Collector t-shirt and mug. Great gift for any comic book lover, and it helps to support my channel. To find them, just click right here.